Hey everybody, Bo here with an update on our 6x14 cargo trailer conversion. We call it Rolling Thunder, cabin on wheels, gourmet kitchen in the front, cantina in the rear. <laughs> hey, in this video we're going to talk about cheap 12 volt RV TVs. Yep, Rolling Thunder got an upgrade. All right, hey, I want to talk about TVs for RVs, campers, vans, whatever. If you buy them specifically for RVs, they're not cheap. They're more because they're built for RVs. And uh, a lot of them and most of them are built to be 12 volt. So you do play, pay a little bit more. Now, if you're looking for a 12 volt TV, the best thing to do is actually physically look at the TV, look at the back of it, and look for the plug, for the power plug. If it's a round plug that goes in with a hole in the center, that means it's a 12 volt TV. And usually there's a transformer or inverter or whatever, just like you have on a computer, that when you plug it into the wall, it takes a 110, turns it into 12 volt before you get to the TV. So then that makes you be able to put in an adapter and plug it into a cigarette lighter socket or wire directly if you actually want to on a fuse you could do that that would be pretty easy now here's the deal I'm on a budget like a lot of people and uh, I pre-wired this uh, right in here with the antenna of course the power and everything's right here I knew I was gonna put one here eventually but in the first part of the build I thought, well, I'm going to leave that out because it's not something that I may use. It's, it's, it's a luxury. Let's just put it that way. Being a photographer, it's almost a must because I can do video. I can show images. I can do presentations if I want in my little office here, which would be fantastic. Plus, it's nice if you're on the road and you want to get the news or whatever and just relax after shooting all day. That's always a good thing. So let's talk about 12 volt. So like I said, the best thing to do is be able to physically examine the back of the TV or make sure that it says in the specs or description or you ask questions if it is uh, DC 12 volt um, available. So again, Examining the TV in the back is the easiest way to find out if it's a 12 volt TV. You're looking for that round plug with a hole in the center, almost like you put in a computer or any other 12 volt device. If it's a 110 TV, it'll have the double plug that's two that goes in, and they're usually bigger, just like a power cord would kind of be. So that's kind of the easiest way to know. If you can find in the description, ask questions, all that. Now here's the deal, it used to be you could go to Best Buy and their brand Insignia, which I think is made by Toshiba, and it's a decent TV. We've been buying them for years just because my last name's Insania, and it looks just like Insignia, so we call it RTV because it looks like my last name. It's always been a joke in the family. Some of them are better than others. Uh, some have had volume issues. This one, no volume issue. I've had some that have and some that haven't. It just depends on the, the whole TV. But anyway, long story short, you used to be able to go into Best Buy and buy one of the smaller ones for 69 to 99 and they were 12 volt, the Insignia. Well, it seems like they've changed a lot of them. So a lot of things are, are changing. So the easiest way to do it then, the next thing you have to do it's just buy an inverter and uh, this plugs right into the cigarette lighter here and then I can plug the TV into it and it works just fine use these use very little electricity this is rated at six dollars a year I think it was like 50 kilowatts or something ridiculous so they hold up really well in the weather because LED does good in the temperature swings so that seems to be fine. Um, so the key is, they're getting harder and harder to find, I'm sorry to say, on the 12 volt. But this is a really easy solution. 
you can pick this up. I got one at Walmart for 10 bucks. That was the cheapest I saw one. I returned it. I did not like it. It was too noisy. They have a fan in them that kicks on and off, and some of them can be noisier than others. Now, eventually here in this rig, I'm going to put an inverter in the back, or no, I'm going to put it in the front by the, uh, the panel, the AC panel, and that way the noise will be more up there and not by the bed. Uh, for the fans for the cooling on the inverters. But the advantage of having a 110 TV is if you do have port sh uh, shore power, you can just plug it right in. If you don't and you're just on solar, you can just use an inverter and uh, do that. I have this on shore part power right now, so it's plugged in right there. But this is a little good gadget to have anyway. Now, uh, I found one on eBay for about 17 bucks, which is pretty cheap. Looked pretty good quality. I got this one at Harbor Freight only because I wanted it right away. I was almost going to return this because I was shocked when I bought this, looked in the back of it, and uh, found out it wasn't 12 volt. So I was really disappointed. But here's another deal I want to tell you about. I got a smoking, smoking deal, and if you're looking right now, if you're searching and you got this video because you're looking for a TV, this right now is the Fire TV. You can get it on Amazon for $89. It's a 24 inch. It's usually $150. If you're going to buy a TV, I think you should get a smart TV just because everything's built in. Everything is one remote. It's easy to to deal with uh, than having multi-remotes. It's just less things to deal with. And that's the name of the game when you're in this deal. Uh, but this thing is the Insignia and it's a Fire TV. So what's cool is it's like a computer. So you can use the Alexis built right in. So I can just say uh, Channel 7. Tune into seven. And boom, it puts the channel on. To me, that's unfreaking believable. But you do have to have internet for it. Here's another cool thing. What's what's the weather going to be tomorrow? Tomorrow in Longmont, there will be mostly sunny weather, with a high of 55 degrees and a low of 28 degrees. What's the 10-day forecast? In Longmont for the next seven days. Wednesday, 55 degrees and mostly sunny weather. Thursday, 57 degrees and cloudy skies. Friday, 55 degrees and shower. Is that cool or what? Saturday, I mean, 59 degrees and intermittent clouds. Sunday. So anyway, if you are looking for a TV, Amazon right now, free shipping, $89.99. You can also get it at Best Buy. I don't know how long that's going to last. But here's the deal. Here's the deal with uh, TVs. If you have a target price for me, I was looking, I wanted something $79.89 for a 24-inch. I wanted a smart TV. I put in alerts and everything. I constantly look. Uh, and... I saw this particular one and I thought, oh, this would be really cool to be able to... I've never used a Lexus. Now, let me tell you something. I've used a lot of different... I use a Roku with what we use inside. I have that on all my TVs. I've used Sony's uh, DVD and they have uh, internet and everything built in it. I don't like their platform. Uh, Roku I do like. But this, this is the Amazon Fire and of course you know, if you have Prime, it makes a big difference. I have Prime, and I, I don't use all the features in it that much. But with this TV, you can add apps, and you can just talk into it and say, Pandora. It'll bring up Pandora. And if you don't have the app, you can add it. And YouTube and uh, anything. It has Firefox built into it, so you can surf the Internet through this TV. I think it's a great addition. I'm thrilled to have it in here. But if you're looking for TVs, depending on the size, um, like I said, 12 volts is getting harder to find. This this is a great solution. Some of these, I would look for the fan just being quieter. This one's good because the fan goes on and off. Let's see if you can hear it. Yeah, let's see. I will 
plug this into here. You really can't hear this. I mean, it goes on and off the fan, which isn't too bad. But I think if, if the TV's on, then um, it's not so bad because you're hearing the TV. You're not hearing this. But if you were just laying in bed, I know it would drive my wife crazy. So you'd have to unplug it. I think on this particular TV, it stores everything in the... Uh, remote all your passwords and everything like that because if you have to reset every one of those because that's the beauty of it once you have everything in there your YouTube like I can bring up all my videos in YouTube I can uh, prime I have all my movies everything there now I'm also told that you can go on prime and even Netflix we don't have Netflix and I would put that on the list to get uh, just I don't want to watch that much TV at this point but I'm told you can download from there, put them on your laptop for offline. So then you just take a, a tablet, hook it up to the TV, and then you can watch anything you want. We're not ones to, you know, when we go out in the woods, we don't, we're not here to watch TV. But if the weather gets crappy and it's, you know, just something that you can't really be outside and you are stuck inside, it's the way to go. I am thrilled to have this, and if you're looking check it out right now the insignia 24 inch I'm sold on the fire TV this remote is easy to use and everything else so uh, and also in this rig I can put an inverter in the front hook the battery up the batteries are back here and uh, when we don't have shore power turn a switch and it'll turn that on and the noise will be more up front instead of over by the bed uh, but this is fantastic like I say the greatest thing about doing things yourself is number one you don't have to do everything all at once you can kind of progress and that's kind of as you can see what we've been doing here this was not in my budget for the first part of the build as well as some of the other additions which I'll make another video on but uh, this is great to be able to hang out here especially at the house because I've got internet here got everything I want it's kinda like having a nice little cabin mobile office uh, at the house as well and then to take it on the road we're good to go so if you're looking check it out and like I say if you're looking for deals the best thing to do is is find a TV that you like they always go on sale online as well as Best Buy so if you don't live near any of these stores you can get Amazon right now you can get this TV for $89.99 and uh, free to two-day delivery and it's packed really well this is amazing to be able to talk into it it's a computer so that's why I'm sold if you're gonna get a TV get a smart TV now you can get a T you can get any TV and make it smart by just adding maybe a DVD player that has built-in uh, internet to it and then they always have the interfaces some of them are easy to use some of them aren't some of them I don't like the interface this I like the interface because it's really easy everything is just right here and it just shows you uh, and then like real TV it it'll bring up the um, the guide which is really cool so you can just go through and see everything you want and the best part about it is this TV uses hardly any electricity so even with the inverter it's not using that much and uh, the other thing is it does have a headphone jack so if you want to do that I may wire it into the uh, stereo so that I can have full sound in here and lastly it's light this thing is like under eight pounds I think it was seven pounds something really light really well built so I get it with thumbs up it's the perfect size for in here some people want a little bigger maybe a 32 inch I don't know some people want smaller 19 inch you can pick up a 19 inch for 69 bucks you can get those fairly inexpensive but the smart TV I like having it all in one remote just because Things are easy to lose. I will put Velcro on it 
and then uh, make it so it velcros here. And if you are gonna, if you if if you don't have the budget to do it uh, right away when you're doing your build, just wire it. Get everything there. So I put the satellite, which is over in the front, and I brought it over into here, and then I had it just coiled up behind here. So then when I got the TV, all I had to do was take this screw out, take that screw out, take it, and I already had a hole built, uh, a hole put in here, put it through there, and boom, it was an easy install. And the, the link, I'll put some links in the uh, description below some of this stuff. And the stand that it's mounted on is just bolted right into the cabinet there. So it's really sturdy, and it doesn't really move. So I think it's going to do really, really well. So, good addition, nice to have. It's a luxury as far as I'm concerned. It depends on what you're trying to get out of your rig. Let's put it that way. My neighbor always says, Bo's working on his rig. Anyway, so there you have it. TVs and an RV. And rolling thunder. So I wanted to share that with you. I'm excited about it and uh, so anyway I'll put some links down below of some of the things that I've seen and I'm using and uh, check out my resource list I'll have that down below of everything that I've used in here I'm a bargain shopper so I've been trying to get the best deals I can this is a smoking deal for $89 it's a regular really 150 uh, and I can tell you when I bought this I got this for like 35 and I've seen it as high as 85 so it's all a matter of watching things patience is the key especially when you're looking for these TVs because they always go on sale so just find the size you want and pick a couple brands that you like I was partial to this because it had the Alexis built in so I was like oh man I that seemed like it'd be pretty cool and it is cool I love everything about it I mean he even does little slideshows here which I'll be able to do with my images so that makes me happy so again thank you for watching please give me a thumbs up take the time to subscribe to my channel ring that bell until next time this is Bo see ya